What's up everybody? Voltage here. I got a new game for you guys. I found this game on Steam and uh, it reminded me of a really old computer game that I've played before that was almost just like this and I always had a lot of fun with it. Um, so I figured I'd grab it and record a video on it and see how you guys like it. Uh, a couple things. I, I know I haven't been uploading too many videos lately. I've been kind of focusing a little bit on my stream. Trying to build that community up a little bit. Uh, Twitch.tv slash VoltageMDGaming if you guys want to go check that out and drop me a follow. Just been grinding away on that, doing some streaming, trying to get that built up. and uh, It's been taking a lot of my time and my work schedule. It just kind of, it's been making it a little hard to get any videos recorded. I'm probably going to continue only doing a couple videos a week just because while I'm working it's it's been kind of burning me out to try to do a daily upload and then I end up not even being able to get the daily uploads so it'll probably just continue to be a couple videos a week but yeah if you guys enjoy this definitely make sure you end up uh, hitting that like button that'll tell me that you enjoyed watching this and I'll do some more videos on it I'll probably also do some streaming of this game I'm not sure yet but that'll probably be more uh, there's a Cust I, from what I read, there's a custom mode where you can build your own contraptions from scratch. So that would probably be more what I would do on stream so that the viewers can help me with ideas and stuff like that to just see what kind of crazy contraptions we can make. Um, but yeah, it's, it's called Contraption Maker. There is a... Let me, let me change the settings here. This music is very loud. Let's go with that. That'll work. Why is my resolution 1280? Let's go with 1920. Alright. That should work. Alright, so yeah, there's a multiplayer. You can, I think it's up to four players that you can build uh, custom contraptions. It sounds like they are working on, on a multiplayer campaign. Or, not campaign, but... Uh, story or whatever you want to call it but otherwise there's also these single player um oh there's some community one oh so you can actually build these contraptions and put them out on the com community for people to play so that's pretty cool so yeah we'll uh we'll just go through a couple of these puzzles here welcome to contraption maker before you start solving puzzles just let's just watch a contraption to see how it works, click the big green play arrow to start the contraption and catch the mouse in the cage. The big green arrow. Oh, ha, that big green arrow. So we got a ball that hits a hamster, makes the hamster roll his wheel, that starts the conveyor belt. Oh, I can't even keep up. <laughs> ball punches the whatever that else that was. I think that was another ball. That ball turned on the light, turned on the fan, which started the windmill. Made the jack-in-the-box pop out. Doing something with the bucket. I missed it. Let's see. Let's replay it. Oh, it's a bowling ball that goes through there. Okay. So that hits the bowling ball. The bowling ball turns that fan on. Fan turns on the windmill, which makes the jack-in-the-box pop out. Oh, it jack-in-the-box pops this rock into the bucket, which knocks the bucket down. Pulling this stick up into something that made the cat chase... Or... Oh no, I made the cat fall off that shelf. Which scared the mouse. And then... The scissors... I think the scissors up there... Ended up... Oh yeah, this thing is working its... The hot air balloon... Or the blimp or whatever is working its way over there... The entire time this is going on. And eventually hits the scissors and makes them cut. So that's just kind of a, a look at what you can, the kinds of things you have. It's not much of a puzzle if you don't have to do anything in a normal puzzle. The contraption is missing some parts and you have to put them in the right spot. Let's do a really simple example. Grab the scissors from your part bin on the right and put them where they were last time. Trap the mouse in the cage. Got it. 
All right. So, oops, you got to click and hold. So you put the scissors there. And I think that's all we got to do. Should work. So clearly these these are going to be really simple. This is just tutorials, so. And it worked. There we go. Looks like the scrolling wheel does make it uh, scroll or zoom in and out. Okay, so now you're ready to play some puzzles. The following tutorials will walk you through the different parts used in the game. To solve the, this contraption, knock both eight balls off the top of the screen. Check out how the balls on the right bounce and use the correct one to hit the eight ball. Oh. Billiard balls don't move unless they are hit. Okay. Okay, so that one bounces really good. Okay, so I'm thinking we just do that. So I think I knocked them both down, right? That ball's bouncing higher and higher. Why can I not? I just want to delete that. So maybe if we go, do I have to add the balls from my inventory here? Is that the only way to do it? That's why I'm failing, because this eight ball is actually moving too much. Oh, Jesus. How am I going to make that eight ball not go flying? Because I can't get rid of any of these other balls down here. Yeah, I can only copy them. Oops. For some reason, I can't... Hmm... I wonder if I did, like, basketball right there, just to kick that bouncy ball out of the way. Nope. That didn't work. Hmm. Well, let's try... Bouncy ball to the side. Oops. Oh, that was so close. Okay, so let's try a little sharper angle here. No! Dang it! That should work. Come on.
Now, of course, it's not going to stop. Yep, because there's nothing to stop it. Dang it. Okay, so let's try... Let's get rid of this bouncy ball. Let's try a tennis ball, just because I think that would... It's not going to have as much force. Oh, crap. I didn't get... Didn't get it out of the way quick enough. There we go. Now, hopefully, what'll happen is it'll slow down enough as it gets to the bottom. Because I think that's all you gotta do is just get it down and get it to stay at the bottom. And that's not working. Hmm. How am I supposed to do this? The only other thing I can think is to do like I did over here where you got the bowling ball dropping on top of it that's going to hold it down. But then that means I need to get all these out of the way. And I don't know how I'm going to do that. Do I maybe... I only get one of those, though. Let's see what happens if I put this baseball down here. Doesn't really get it out of the way. <laughs> that would work, but it doesn't quite get it out of the... Well, maybe if I... Move this over just a little bit. Well, we can try that. And I'll put this... Oh, wait. Oh, I already used the bowling ball. Okay. So let's try this thing then. Wow, what the heck. Maybe let's go like this. Let's switch this out. Let's do a bowling ball. I'll put this over here. Because you got the walls that can help out over there. Whoa. I did not see what was going on over here. Okay, so that bouncy ball is still not getting out of the way completely. So. Let's move this over again. Yeah, it's not getting out of the way quick enough. Try to put that up higher, maybe. Dang. That almost worked. Okay, so it's not hitting even. There we go. Nope, it's still... Still hit the... I think it still hit the bouncy ball. What is it hitting? Yeah, it's hitting something that's kicking it off to the side. Okay. So... Maybe if I put this up here more. Oh no, they fall at the same rate. Let's try going to this side of the bouncy ball. Because I really don't... I'm not understanding how to get this. Billiard balls don't move unless they are hit. Unless I'm completely understanding, uh, misunderstanding what I'm supposed to be doing here. I wonder if I'm just supposed to do that. Uh, clearly that's not it. Alright, so...
I wish it would tell me again. I wish I had a way to... Okay, now ready for play some puzzles. The following tutorials will walk you through the different parts used in the game. To solve the contraption, knock both eight balls off the top of the screen. Check out how the balls on the right bounce. And use the correct one to hit the eight ball. But I can't get any of these out of the way, though. I don't understand. Is that going to slow it down enough? I might actually slow it down enough and might actually end up working. So, we'll use the bowling ball to get this guy down, because we know that works. And then we just got to wait out this ball coming to a stop, hopefully. Hopefully that's all we got to do. Yeah, I don't know how else to really stop that thing. We'd almost have to find a ball that would, that we could place down there that it could hit, and make it slow down basically. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna actually stop low enough on the screen to actually count as a as a completion. Hmm. Maybe after it hits this wall, it'll stop. Nope. That's not good. Okay. Uh. So, if I put... Basketball here... What's that going to make it do? Because I'm thinking if with that basketball between the eight ball and the bowling ball that hopefully will absorb the ball, the ball, the pit, ah, the billiard ball, absorb the billiard ball's momentum. No, that didn't really. God dang it. I don't know. This, I already don't understand this puzzle. I wonder if I put a bowling ball there to do that. No, see, it just it just ends up going crazy, and that's I don't understand. I 
I just, I don't get how I'm supposed to get that to stay down. Because the stupid thing never stops. Whoa, that didn't work. Oh, this is frustrating. Oh, that was weird. Okay. So the marble will not work, because that's going to cause problems. What if we do that? This kind of came at a different angle this time. I wonder if this might actually work. Ah, oh, that slowed it way down, but not enough. Let's try moving that in a little. I don't like that it keeps bouncing back up. Try moving it in just a little bit more. <laughs> I really don't understand what to do. Like, I got no walls to work with. I've got nothing here. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't understand. This is the first puzzle and I can't even figure it out. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that totally didn't work. That didn't work. Nope. Uh oh. Yeah, this just isn't going to work. Huh. Well, I've tried pretty much every ball except the tennis ball, I think. Tried the marble. I actually, I don't know if I tried the soccer ball for hitting this thing. Ah! That doesn't get it out of the way quick enough. Dang it. Just barely. Now the question is, is it going to make it past the bowling ball? Ugh, barely. I don't understand how to stop this thing. This, I don't... I don't get it. Does it say I'm live? I don't understand that. It's 
something up in the top right corner that I don't know what it is. What is going on here? Well, guys, I think I'm going to end the recording here. I'm going to have to try to figure out. I think I'm not understanding something right about this level. And, guys, if you have any idea, uh, put it in the comments. I don't, Because I don't know if I can actually go. Let me see if I can go into a different puzzle, maybe. Oh, it does let me go to a different one. Okay. Not sure how a part works. Click it and then click the question mark. Oh, okay. So, I did not read anything on this one. I should have read it. Belts transfer rotational energy. You use a belt to push, put both bowling balls into the center area. Got it. Okay. Oh, so I just got to grab this rubber band. Stretch it from there to there. That should be it. See, I'm, I'm not... I'm missing something. I'm missing something on that first puzzle. It should be a lot simpler than what it is. Gears allow one motor to power multiple things. Put both baseballs and both bowling balls into the center area. Oh boy. Alright. Let's see. So we need a gear there. And we need a gear there. And we need a rubber band going from there to there. And a rubber band from there to there. That should work. There we go. Yeah, see, these are so much simpler. I don't understand what that first one's all about. I don't, I don't get why that's not working. Turn on the cat-o-matic feeder. So now I can at least keep recording for you guys here. Oh, uh, let's see. Turn on the cat-o-matic feeder. Oh, okay, so... Just got to make the ball, let's rotate that, make the ball hit that switch, switches turn on and off, <laughs> that bouncy ball is nuts, yeah I don't understand why that other one's so bad. Thanks for buying Contraption Maker, follow Game Dev Castle on Twitter to find out about new features, updates, and contests. And then it says follow at Spotkin. Is it Game Dev Castle or Spotkin? <laughs> uh, get all the soccer balls into the brick area in the center of the screen. Oh. Okay, we got a teeter-totter, so that's going to end up having to go over here, I think. Move that underneath there. Okay. Now, drag ropes through pulleys to change directions of direction of pull. But why would I want to do that? Oh, okay. I get it now. Yeah. That rope's got to go there, to there, to there. Yeah, because then that bowling ball falls, pulls that up, this drops. That one's simple right there. This should work. Yay, we did it. <laughs> These are so much easier. I don't understand what I'm missing with that first level. I'll definitely look into it, guys, and we'll figure out that first level. I'm missing something on that and misunderstanding something. It should be a lot easier. Get the balloon off the top of the screen and let the wrecking ball fall off the bottom of the screen. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, okay, so I just gotta add a si Oh, you know what? I think I just figured out what I'm not understanding about that first level. So we may be able to go back to it. Yep, yep. Okay, so. We're gonna go back to that level. Where is it? There it is. I don't have to do anything with these. All I gotta do is put a ball over here to get this guy down. That gets the eight ball off the top of the screen by shooting it up. I think. Oh, okay, no, okay, now, okay, never mind. Yep. So then I need the bouncy ball. Placed right there. And go. Shoot them both up. And we got it, finally! Yay! Okay, is this actually the next level that I need to be doing? Did that one, we did that one, we did that one, that one, that one. Yep, this one. Okay. Put both cannonballs into the cardboard box. Okay. Pull with rope to start. Okay. So we need a rope going to the bucket. Then... Electric motor. Oh yeah, we gotta put an electric motor. Where does this need to go? Oh. Ooh. Can we rotate this bad boy? Get it positioned a little more like the other one. And we'll put the belt on the motor. That should be good. Okay, put both cannonballs into the cardboard box again. Oh, okay, so we're just a little more complicated this time. All right, so we need to put a generator right there. Let's flip the orientation of that. And then we put a belt from the generator to that motor and go. Should be it. Cool. Yeah, these are real simple, but these are the tutorial levels, so... Use ropes to stop the boxes from smashing the stick houses. Ropes to stop the boxes from smashing the stick houses. Am I supposed to attach it? Oh, wait. Oh, okay, yeah, that's... Never mind. Let's restart that. It just seems like there's a lot of slack there. Oh, never mind. We're good. Phew. Get the bucket on the right into the blue bucket area. Hmm. That could be interesting. Oh! This is easy. Through that pulley, through that pulley, and down to the bucket. Go! Hey! We did it. Fire all four of the ray guns. Okay, so that'll pull that down. I need something to... Push on this side, I think. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Can we do a rope? Oh, 
can just connect a rope straight to this one. Hmm. How many ropes do I have left? I only have one? What the heck? Okay, so then I wonder... Okay, yep, then I do have to do it the way I originally thought. Go through this pulley. And then the basketball goes over here. Should be all I have to do. Yeah, that worked. Turn on the light on the right side of the screen. Light on the right side. Oh, okay, there we go. How am I going to turn that on? How do I plug it into anything? Oh, okay, I get it. So the flashlight will power the solar panel. Which is turned on by the basketball. Motor is what moves the basketball. But we need something to shine light on the... on this solar panel which is going to be a light bulb and this rope would have to go from here to here that basketball should end up down here this basketball should turn this light on is that really going to power that solar panel though? oh yeah it does okay There we go. Got it. Light both double lighters and both candles. Both double lighters. Oh, those are double lighters. Well, that's pretty simple. We'll just put a uh, tennis ball right here like they did. We'll put a flashlight right here, rotate that the other way, and a magnifying glass right there. Can't rotate that. Should do it. Oh, shoot. I have a flashlight a little too far back. should still light it. Okay. There we go. Cool. Use fire to heat up the teapots and make some tea. Oh. Well then. This is getting a little more complicated now. Okay, so we need about there. We need to pull with rope. So is that going to work? There, that worked. <coughs> so many different ways for things to go boom. Blow up all the bombs and dynamite. Remember, if you don't know what a part does, click it and then click the question mark to open the part help so we need to put a lighter down here and that'll light that stick of dynamite and then we put a flashlight right there wish you could actually see the trail and how that's actually gonna hit Oh, okay, I see. That was easy. That was exciting. Let's make more thing to go boom. Blow up both of the remote bombs. Remote bombs. Oh, okay. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that was cool. <laughs> that was neat. Launch the toy rocket, the missile, and the bottle rocket. Okay, so we got a bottle rocket there. That's going to light with that. Um, we need that to be lit with this. This gets lit by the basket or the baseball, which then has a magnifying glass going there. Now my question is, how do I get this bucket to fall? Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, did I miss with the baseball? Try that again. There we go. Ha, there we go. Fire the cannons. Oh, three of them. Nice. All right, so we have a rope, we have a bucket, and we have a pulley. So let's put the pulley there. Sure, that'll work. Put the bucket here. I don't even know why you even need the pulley. Screw the pulley. Oh, I think I know why you need the pulley, because this is a downward pull. Let's, let's just test this out. Oh no, it, that works. So you don't even need the pulley. Huh. Extra parts. Pull the sticks on all four trap doors. Oh, well this is easy. So let me put our stick or our string here. Through there, through there, through there, and onto the stick. Go. Pop the blue balloon in the middle. Don't pop any other balloons. Blue balloon in the middle. But not any other ones. Okay, so we'll take a string. We'll bring that through to each of those. So that should hold them two straight. Then we put a tack. Oh. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Put the tack like that. Yeah, that worked. Alright, guys, well, I think that's going to do it. We'll continue on with uh, this next level here on the next recording. If you guys end up uh, dropping enough likes on it. We will do another recording of this. Uh, let's see, what level was that? Page. This one, okay. So this will be the next level. Blimps and flying saucers on the next level. Like I said, guys, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this and you want to see more of it. I understand the puzzles have been a little simple on the, on the simple side right now, but that it, it's going to happen. I mean, it's... This, this is all considered tutorial puzzles right now, so they're going to be a little on the simple side. They're going to get more complicated, I would think, I would hope. Uh, I haven't played this game before, so... So yeah, hopefully you guys will hit that like button, then I can keep doing more recordings of this, and uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my content when I do upload. And guys, make sure you go check out my stream channel twitch.tv slash voltage md gaming and then you won't miss any of my streams as well because there's games i play on stream that i do not play on youtube so till the next one i'm out